Okay, now that we have discussed uh, the R in and R out, uh, we have to go back to the gain discussions because uh, the gain of the CB stage would change if you have actually some sort of uh, resistance at the emitter side, right? So this resistance could, I'm referring to this resistance, I could call it RE or I could call it RS. By S, I mean source. So it's like could be the internal resistance of this voltage source that I have here, or it could be just some random resistor that is there, right? As long as I have a resistor in the emitter, um, my gain is not going to be perfectly GMRC, right? Just to remind you, the gain for this circuit, we calculated this gain. So when this was V in and this was RC, this was V out, the gain of this circuit was V out over V in was equal to GM RC. That's one of the first thing that we actually calculated for common base amplifiers, right? Well, over there, the base was connected to some biasing, but that you know that that doesn't really matter. Like you could have a battery here or not. That doesn't really matter because when you're doing AC analysis, the base becomes ground anyway, right? Now, this circuit, the, the circuit that we are, we are like basically trying to solve it or trying to analyze it, has an extra component that has this RS or some resistance at the emitter. And the problem is that, well, it means that compared to the circuit on the right here in the on the right we had we knew the voltage at the emitter is going to be v in right but then now for the circuit on the left we know that the voltage at the emitter which is like i marked it as x this vx and v in are different right there's a resistor between them there's some current half flowing through here so i do know that for for a fact vx and v in are not going to be the same therefore my gain is going to be different right so how do i calculate the gain Again, I can actually draw the small signal circuit and write KVLs and KCLs and do calculate the gain the same way that I calculated this guy. Or I can be smart about it and I can reduce this question, this circuit, to something that I know it's gain, such as that one. And then well, I'll try to actually somehow relate them to each other. So let's go with this, this approach. We know that if somehow I connected, like, okay, or let, let's let's say it this way. Um, I know that for this circuit, V out over V in is GMRC, right? This means that for this circuit, V out over Vx is GMRC, right? So I know that the gain of like the, the, the voltage at here over the voltage at the emitter is going to be GMRC, right? So that's what I'm going to do. V out over here. Right? Assuming that somehow I applied V in here. Assuming that I had this kind of situation and none of this existed, I would have had a gain of GMRC, right? So I'm going to say that V out over Vx is going to be GMRC. Now, what is V, like if I find Vx over V in, then I'm done, right? Because I know that V out over Vx times Vx over V in well, the two Vx's cancel, it's going to give me V out over V in, right? So all I need to find out is what is Vx over V in. Well, how do I find that? I'm going to say, I'm going to focus on the resistance looking up from here. What do I see from here? Because whatever, I'm going to call that R uh, seen by X, right? At RC. I know that whatever resistance I have there, uh, if I find that, then I can actually redraw my circuit as this. I have a V in. I have some RS. And then I have that R seen to ground, right? Because I said, when I say looking into, like looking up what is the resistor, I mean, what is the resistor that I can replace the entire circuit with it and it's connected to ground, from that node to ground. So this is X. Right. So what is R seen? Well, I just learned about it. I, I learned that looking into the emitter, I know that R seen is going to be 1 over GM plus whatever I have at the base divided by beta plus 1. Well, there's no, so let me actually write that. There is nothing at the base. So this is 0. So it's just going to be 1 over GM. Okay. 
that means that Vx over Vn is simply a voltage divider, so or a resistive divider, 1 over Gm over 1 over Gm plus Rs. And I'm done. So therefore, my V out over V in is going to be 1 over Gm over 1 over Gm plus Rs times Gm Rc that I had from here. Okay, and that's my gain. I didn't need to write a single KCL or KVL. I didn't need to draw the small signal circuit. I just reduced the circuit to something that I knew about. Like I knew this is simple to remember, right? The gain of a, a simple common base amplifier, right? The most basic common base amplifier. If I remember that, and like it's similar to the gain of common emitter amplifier. So like I have, I have to remember one expression for two topologies, right? It's not a bad bargain. So if I remember that, then I can say that, well, the rest of it is just a resistive divider because I know how to uh, replace the entire circuit looking up from node X with just a single resistor that is R seen, which is which which I found it to be one over GM. Now, if I had a resistor in the base, the approach would have been exactly the same, except that, well, instead of one over GM, I would have had well one over GM plus R base divided by beta plus one, right? So you can imagine that the approach is the same. It's just that like the expression might be slightly different depending on like what is in the circuit and what is not. Okay. Okay. Now let's make this even more complicated. Let's say that I have both resistance at both uh, emitter and base. So I have both R E and R B. Okay. And I want to find out what is the gain. Um, here. Um, and on the right, I have the small signal model of this circuit, right? And I'm going to try to actually do the same, like use the same approach for finding the gain of this guy. I'm not going to write KVLs and KCLs as much as I can, right? Uh, first, I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison. I know that there is a circuit that I know. So let's call that circuit basic common base. That I know its gain is equal to GM RC. Okay, how does that uh, circuit look like? Well, in that circuit, there is no RB and there's no RE, right? And you can see that when that happens, I can write a KVL from this point all the way to here, and it's going to be basically 0 minus uh, V pi minus V in is going to be 0, therefore V pi and V in. Or, well, V pi is equal to negative V in, right? And then from there, uh, knowing that V out is equal to GM RC, or sorry, negative GM RC V pi, we figured out it's equal to GM RC V in, and that's how we found the gain, right? So this is just a reminder that how we found the gain. Now, later in the previous slide, we added this RE. We brought this RE to the picture and we saw that we get the same. So with RE, so this was case or scenario one, this is scenario number two. So with RE, what happened was that I still had that GMRC, but then I had this resistive divider between RE and R pi, right? And then because one of them had beta plus one times more current, I saw that it becomes um 1 over gm over 1 over gm plus re okay by the way you might wonder well you just said r pi what the, what the hell what 1 over gm is doing here 1 over gm is really r pi divided by beta plus 1 if you remember okay or r pi divided by beta if you wish but the idea is that i realized that when i add this resistor re part of my signal was actually attenuated before being amplified by this gain, right? And the attenuation was the resistive divider. So like basically it looks like that I care about how much of the V in is dropped or like basically is across this R pi because that's what is important. When R e was not there, all of V in was across R pi. Well, of course, with the negative sign, but all of V in was across R pi. That's why I got my full GMRC. Later, when R e was there, part of this V in 
was actually taken by RE. So it was a resistive divider between RE and R pi, right? The one that I drew last time. So it was a VN. Sorry. So a VN with some sort of an RE. And then there was the one over GM looking up. And we said that this is what's going to be uh, across. So like this was really the V pi or what would the opposite polarity, right? So the, the voltage across this R pi is important. Like what share of V in R pi takes? That's what we are caring about. Now with that knowledge, let's actually bring R B into the picture. Now I know that I'm going to have, so with R B and R E, I know that I'm going to have a circuit that looks like this. So there is some V in again. There is the RE. There is the 1 over GM, which is really in parenthesis, or well, I don't want to imply that I'm multiplying. So let's say that this is really equal to R pi divided by beta plus 1. And then I have the RP divide by beta plus one. I'm going to use that trick that I can bring any resistor in the base to the emitter and make it in series with the RE or whatever is in the emitter as long as I divide them by beta plus one. So I did this with R pi here. So this one over GM that I had here was also R pi divided by beta plus one, as I mentioned here as well. And now I do it with RP. Now this goes to ground. Now, what do I care about is the voltage across R pi, which is this voltage, or sorry, the opposite polarity. So this voltage, this is really my V pi, right? So it's like what share of all V in, like what, what share of V in is dropped across this one over GM? Well, that's easy to calculate. It's gonna be just one over GM divided by one over GM plus Re plus Rb divided by beta plus one. I have three resistors in series. Uh, I want to know what's the voltage across one of them. Well, we have learned this as one of the very first things in EECS 2200, right? Now I have the fraction. So like basically this multiplied by GM RC is going to give me the gain. So that's going to be my V out over V in. Okay, again, I try to use simplification instead of actually writing down KVLs and KCLs. Uh, of course, like I, you didn't really need to write step one and two. This was just me explaining to you what the what, what is going on, right? Uh, step three is really what is really the solution. I know that I need to find out what part of V in, what fraction of V in is actually uh, taken by R pi. Right, as I drew here. Uh, so basically, what I want to know is that, like, what is the voltage? What is this V pi over V in? Right, so this is, let me actually write it here. So this fraction is really V pi over V in. Once you find that, then, well, that multiplied by GMRC is your gain, right? Even in the previous slide with the just single RE, that's what we actually found. We found out what is the, like, this was. This uh, this fraction was again the V pi over V in, right? And then for the first one, V pi over V in was just one. And I'm talking about the magnitude, of course, right? So V pi over V in was just well, V pi over V in was negative one, so the magnitude was one. That's why we got the full gain, which is GMRC. I hope this was clear.